here everyone now in the upcoming videos we will see how we can uh, finish all the admin related routes so here are a couple of things like which i have written down so first is regarding the user management so for the user management we will be needing list user api uh, this will be paginated then one api to list a user by id because uh, then we will list all its address and all these things apart from that we need another api to change the user's role so these are the things which will be controlled by admin and in the order management we will be needing similarly an api to list all the orders and change the order status and at last for the products we just need a simple search api for the products now this will be for both users and admin because users will be able to search the product on front end and same for the admins as well and here we will learn the new concept of full text search so let's get started with all these things so if you go into the users controller i have created the three routes so one is three controllers sorry one is list user get user by id and change role and in the users routes i have used all these three uh, controllers here so put on slash role will change the role get on slash will list all the users and similarly for id so uh, let's uh, finish this first so what we are going to do is first is list user so it is pretty straightforward so what we are going to do is so we will say const users is equal to await prisma client dot user dot find many and inside find many we will give two arguments one is a skip so how many rows we want to skip so it will be request dot query dot skip and if it's not there then we want to simply return the first page and we will type cursor to number and take and we want to keep the page size consistent to let's suppose 5 and we will say response dot json and users so it is pretty straightforward now get user by id here we have to wrap the code inside try catch here we will throw the exception so it will be not found exception message will be user not found and error code will be error code dot user not found and here we will say const user is equal to await prisma client dot user dot find first or through and here we will say where sorry id is equal to request dot params dot id and if you go into the schema and for the users we can see we have address and order so for the user management we just need address because cart and orders are like not really necessary so if uh, we want to fetch the orders of any users we can create an api which can list all the orders of a given user so we will also do that in the order management so let's fetch only addresses for this given user so we will say include addresses colon true and we'll say response dot json and then we will say user so this is also complete now in the change role this is also pretty straightforward so let's copy this first and here we will say update so where id will be this and we will not have include here instead uh, sorry instead we will have a data field and inside data we will say role and it will be request dot body dot role now uh, you can perform the validation here as well validation so you can define a schema so you can do it on your own uh, the schema will have a single key of role and it will be of enum so just do it on your own so let's uh, give it a try for all these three routes so first let's check if the server is running no it's not running so let's run the server first okay now go to the postman and the users 
simply duplicate this request and we will say list users and in the body we don't need anything it will be a get route hit send you can see all the users are listed here we have only three users so obviously three users will be listed save this duplicate this and now change it to get user by id and here we want to simply fetch the user 8 hit send you can see now the address is also fetched so it is also working fine now again duplicate this and we are going to say change role and we want to change the role of user 7 so let's see if it has 7th user or not so let's close all these tabs first so we have a user 9 so let's change the role of this user as of now it has a user role so we want to change it to admin so let's see change it to 9 inside the body we will say role to admin let's hit send okay it works now if i reload this you can see okay it's not working role is still user so let's see if it what's going on wrong here okay i need to change this as well sorry the route so let's check the route first so slash role so it will be slash id slash roles so it was my mistake so it will be slash id slash roles i guess it's role only yeah now let's hit send cannot get so it's a put route now you can see that we have admin here now if i refresh this you can see it's changed to admin so all these three routes are working now in the next lecture we will see how we can complete all these routes so let's add one more thing here list all orders of given user and also we want to list the order by id as well but if i go inside this orders.ts i guess we have yeah we have this route so there is no need of a separate route here admin can use these routes only so but for admin uh, i guess you are aware we have to put this admin middleware and if admin middleware is not like there so, so either admin or user both can access that route so that's how it works so let's see in the next lecture then